How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to teach you how to texture objects in Arma 3. So the very first thing you need to do is make a texture in Photoshop, GIMP, whatever photo editing software you want to use, it doesn't matter. So here's a texture that I made for a Shelby GT500. And we'll start, we need to save it as a TGA. So we'll go to File, Save As, and in the dropdown, select TGA. So we'll call this GB, gray and black. Save, save it as 32 bits. This is a resolution and make sure that compress is unchecked. Okay. And we'll do the blue and white one as well. File, save as, PGA. And we'll call this one PW. 32 bits, not unchecked. Okay. The next thing we need to do is convert these TGA files into PAA files. To do that, we'll open them up and they'll open up in text edit and links to everything will be down in the description below. So in text edit, go to file, save as, and save this as PAA. So you just need to change the extension on the file name. Save. And open up our other TGA, GB. And file, save as, PAA. Now we can see we have both our PAAs and then our TGAs. These PAAs are what we're gonna to use to texture in Arma. So now we're here in Arma, we'll open up the editor and we'll just select a virtual reality. And we need to place some objects down to texture. So place a player unit and then we'll place the vehicles that we want texture. So we want our GT500. Now there's two ways of texture. One way is through the initialization here in editor and another way is using a cursor target method. And I'll show you both of them. So in the initialization here to texture this, we will use this set object texture zero. And then this will be the file path to our PAAs that we saved. So here's where mine are saved. And we'll do bw.paa. And for ease of typing, copy all this. And we'll place another one here. And in this init, we'll do our BB, yeah. And we'll place one more third car here with nothing in here. So you'll see untextured versus the two textureds. Once this loads, you can see we have our untextured vehicle over here. And we have our gray and black and our blue and white. So that's how you texture from the editor and the initialization of the object. And to do it with a cursor target, just hit tilde and see how it pops up Shelby GT500. This is how we know we're looking at it. So we know that it's gonna select the right object. Now we can go into our debug console and we can paste what we copied before, except instead of this, we'll set it as cursor target, set object texture. And there you go. Now we've textured with cursor target. Now let's say we don't wanna use a predefined texture file path. We can edit our set object texture script to use an RGB color spectrum instead. Now the, Numbers are red, green, blue, and alpha. So here, if we want to set a red car, we can just change our first number to 255. And now we have a red car. We can add in our middle number, change that to 255, and it's yellow. Or we can change them all to 255, and it's white. And you can use this to change the object texture, any combination of colors you can come up with. This is really useful in vehicle spraying scripts. Now you can use this to texture absolutely anything. So this backpack, uh, if we want to put my logo on the backpack, we can do that. Or this hummingbird, we'll just use the set object texture with the file path. And once it loads, you have logo on a backpack. And the hummingbird there has our texture on it. And this works with absolutely everything in the game. And you can do it through the init in the editor or through the cursor target method. 
So now I'm going to show you one of the most common errors that people get where their textures aren't loading, their objects are invisible. And that's just in a scripting error, a file pathing error, something's wrong in it where it can't load the texture. So I'm going to change this here to texture. The texture doesn't exist. And an error pop up when we preview it. And there you go. Now our object's invisible. Hope this helped out. If you guys have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. And I hope you learned something.